Now when you're ordering material, there's a couple things you need to, need to remember here. Most of the films are constructed the same way. The three main parts of the film. Okay, you have the base film, the adhesive, and the liner. Now if you people starting out, you really need to keep this in mind, okay? Because a lot of people get confused with the names of the material and the type of adhesive that it has on it. It's two different, totally different things, okay? So you need to make sure that you understand that. Just because you have a 3M vinyl does not necessarily mean it's gonna have a specific kind of, of uh, adhesive on it like you're needing. So you've gotta make sure and pay attention to what you're ordering and what kind of material you need for the job, okay? 3M has two, most other places. There are two primary types of adhesives, okay? You have a pressure sensitive adhesive and a pressure activated adhesive. Pressure sensitive adheres upon contact to the substrate. Pressure activated is slidable and repositionable up until firm pressure is applied. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is a Scotch cow, which is pressure sensitive. Okay. What I want to show you here is just, this is just a metal divot panel. Okay. The material just, it's the weight of the material just stuck to the vinyl. Okay. See how it's stuck to the metal? So imagine trying to use this type of material wrapping a car. Every time it sticks to the car, okay, it's going to be doing that number. 3M control tack, pressure sensitive, okay? Okay, metal divot panel, okay? See how I'm able to move that around? Mm -hmm. Okay, until I apply pressure. Okay, now, it's not always as easy as this. Certain things can affect the, availability, the ability of this. Heat, dark temperatures, you know, several different things can affect the control tack properties of it. But you can see, realistically speaking, if the material sticks to the side of a car, okay, or a truck, boat, anything, it's repositionable, okay, until you apply that pressure, okay. Now, for all you people starting out, unless you're doing something in a boat, use air regress material. It's going to help you learn some kind of, and again, if you're using Avery or using Oracal, get the material with the air regress in it, some kind of air release system, and it's just going to make your job a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to talk about probably one of the biggest issues you need to think about. We're still talking about material selection. The two primary types of films, okay? Now this is pretty much across the board. So you've got calendared and cast. Some of the differences. Start with the calendar. The thickness, it's four mils or more, okay? So it's substantially thicker. Shrinkage after application. I have actually seen calendar material shrink as much as a quarter of an inch over the summer. It shrinks substantially. Durability, less than five years for the calendar. Next one, conformability, poor. Like Daniel said, it's not very conformable. Now, I still get projects where we wrap vehicles in calendar material. When we do, it's mostly because it's something very, very temporary, okay? At the very bottom, you can see the price and the value. Calendar material is usually substantially cheaper. Cast material, one or two mil thick, and you see half the thickness of calendar. Shrinkage after application is very, very low. Some of the new materials are almost, the shrinkage is almost down to nothing. Okay, durability, more than five years. But I want to stress this. The durability has a lot to do with how you take care of it. Okay, conformability, good to very good. It is a little bit more costly. But you can see right there, just with the thickness, the shrinkage, and the conformability, why you'd want to use cast material as opposed to calendar.